What's going on, everybody? Welcome to WHM Mailbag. I am Andrew Jupin alongside Stephen Zadak, Christopher Cabin, Eric Siska. We are here, like every month, to read your letters. Um, I do want to mention that yes. this is a sideshow we do where we read your letters because you, the listeners, are teaching us how to read. Because <laughs> I really am not great. <laughs> no, no, but you know, every day is a new challenge, exactly. man. And someday you will get there. And I'm right? still a very young man. Yeah, so. totally. You're getting your reps in now. Yeah. Yeah. You, you'll get there. Yeah. You're reading anatomy. It's a lot of stuff you gotta learn. <laughs> and also, this is Bend a wedding ring, me. folks. So just like cool well, it with all the comments and like, <laughs> everyone, I, like, my fucking DMs blow up so often. Yeah. It's really disgusting. When I'm, you're talking about Eric reading poorly? Yeah. yeah it's oh, true. Yeah. Yeah. It turns people on. Yeah. Oh. They, they don't call it hooked on phonics for nothing. <laughs> I thought you were talking about Hot Steve Summer. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's, yeah, it's a, oh, it's a Hot Steve Summer, all right. It is Hot Steve Summer. Speaking of Hot Steve, why don't you get a start as their Hot Steve That's Stardust? That's right. Uh, Have some more wine, you fucking lush. Uh, Goldbloom is the title of this letter. Greetings to you, We Hate Movies. Hi. Hello uh, there. I read ahead about this, by the way. This uh -huh. is what th these come up on these stories a couple of times a month. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a celebrity encounter, and these are always allegedly stories. I right, don't know right. from Adam who's telling me the truth. No idea. We have a we have a, a an unverified Gmail account that just sort of <laughs> dumps <laughs> that you can just dump your shit into. Right. We don't have fact checkers. No. We don't have lawyers. No, no. Allegedly, no. these yeah. could all be from Eric, for all we know. <laughs> oh shit! You write it in the mailbag, I dude. I think actually. Did you sock puppeting this fucking mailbag? <laughs> What's going let's, on? Let's 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 say this legally. All these are written by us, <laughs> and it's all just fun and games. This is for entertainment purposes <laughs> only. Exactly. So I please. think that's the way to, yeah. to place yes. it. Maybe yeah. we didn't write them, but this is most certainly for entertainment purposes Instead only. Instead of a grain of salt, take a whole bucket. <laughs> Do a bucket of salt, my God! What are you fucking plowing a driveway? I'm plowing something. <laughs> <laughs> oh, please Speaking read Speaking of email. which, I'm sure Goldblum plows something in this. Uh, uh, Goldblum fucks, dude. Oh yeah, Absolutely. dude. Sex maniac, uh, probably a killer. But anyway, what? Uh, allegedly, <laughs> allegedly. Since Jeff Goldblum, at the peak of his Dewey youth, is heavily featured in this week's Patreon commentary. Oh, that's right. We did one on Independence Day. That's now on Patreon.com/slash We Hate Movies. And if you're watching this on our YouTube channel, there's some preview clips. Just click on that, you know, our uh, our username there and this down. subscribe. Down and there. And down down somewhere around oh, here. Oh, shit. No, where, we, could we find exactly where it is? <laughs> <laughs> there it is. <laughs> sure. Uh, Nailed it. Nailed it. I thought this would be the first. Nice. I thought this would be the perfect time for me to tell my gold bloom story. Uh, it was the summer of 2005, and my parents had taken me and my younger sisters to see a matinee of Spamalot on Broadway. Little rich girl over here going wow, to Spamalot Broadway on Broadway. Shows. Oh, it was a hot ticket in 2005. <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, it was. It was. Uh, yeah. In the theater next door, Jeff Goldblum was in the production of The Pillow Man. Uh oh, creep fest. Uh, my youngest sister, who is 17, and let's be honest, very well endowed, saw that Goldblum had come out uh, of the stage door and was signing autographs. She made a beeline for him and asked me to come and take a picture if she managed to get his autograph. I wasn't an idiot uh, and an older than her at 21. I knew I wanted to see what happened, so I followed behind. Uh, my sister pushes her way to the front. Hold on. I love how this writer is like, I want to see where this goes. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> well, I think she's probably looking out for her younger sister. Oh, you know that's you the way. Okay. Uh, my sister uh, pushes to the, her way to the front of the throng of people uh, with me literally holding onto her purse strap. Uh, he's finishing up talking to someone when he spots my sister, who, again, is 17. And then it's like no one else is there in the entire world. Yeah. He turns and walks towards her, and then he puts a hand on his chest and exclaims loudly, well, aren't you a fresh bouquet of spring flowers? Yeah. Wow. Uh, uh, oh, oh, oh. Well, aren't you a fresh bouquet of uh, s spring flowers? Uh, wow. Ooh, uh, I'm sorry. I have to catch a flight to Jeff Epstein's island. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> allegedly. Oh. Alleg that's very allegedly. He, I don't uh, think he was involved, but that's this extra is allegedly. <laughs> Clinton Foundation. No, uh, she froze. <laughs> I froze. It felt like the whole world stopped. He was talking about my sister's bountiful uh, spring flowers. Yes, her breasts. Yeah, we got it. Did not need that parenthetical. It's happening. Wait, what are breasts? <laughs> 
Well, maybe we did. Bend over and I'll show you. Uh, you're saying I don't know. I don't know <laughs> biology. You say I don't know biology. I don't know how you're seeing breasts if you're bending over, though. What are you talking about? <laughs> and Chris, you've got to get swelling down, dude. You've you got to get it, off the insane tab on Pornhub and go to the regular tab. Exactly. Oh, 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 oh! You're talking about yabos. <laughs> yeah, oh, okay, yeah, yeah, that's okay. Oh, yes, and this is the August mailbag. So stay tuned for an episode in September where we talk about yabos. Chris is just watching <laughs> Slovenian shit in sinks. <laughs> Uh, yes. You like those two, dude? Fully clothed, yeah. Yeah. It's great. Uh, Woo! Uh, clothed female nude sink. <laughs> <laughs> you have to do like the quotes on that to get the whole thing. I want it all. I want yes. all that. Yep, exactly. Uh, he wasn't just talking about them. He was nakedly staring at them. Get a good look, Costanza. Uh, he puts a hand out to shake her hand, and suddenly we both burst out in nervous laughter. He was very eagerly he very very eagerly asked if she wanted a picture and I had to snap one while he put her arm around her and crunched her way too close. Yeah, he didn't wow. do the Keanu thing, which I, I've seen, and it's a really awesome move. I mean, Ace yeah. move. Yep. It's it's the my hand is wide open. Absolutely. It's like, and I'm not even touching it. It's like it's the ghost of my like. Yep. Oh yeah, we're we're, we're you know kind of getting close. It's it's me, you, and then a ghost who I'm <laughs> then clutching yes. the arm of. Yeah. Exactly, which is the move. Yeah. And it, it works for both germaphobes and for people that don't want to be creeps. It's Absolutely. called the. Uh, this could be evidence move. After she freed herself, we ran back to where my parents and middle sister had been waiting for us. Oh, that poor middle sister didn't I get know, home. she got left out of the whole thing. <laughs> Sorry, Jan. <laughs> uh, we told the story while battling fits of laughter, oh. and the incident is still legendary in our family. As for the picture of my sister and the lecherous Jeff Goldblum, my parents had it on their fridge until they moved nine years later. And then what? Because how do you lose that? No, that's got to get scanned. That's got to be in the family archives. No, I, get, I think you get framed. <laughs> I yes, think get I framed. think so, framed too. <laughs> yeah, how dare you put that on the fridge? Sure, he's, lear he's leering at my my underage daughter, but it's Jeff Goldblum. <laughs> that's getting a fucking golden frame. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I want to meet this father. I mean, it's Jeff Goldblum. <laughs> well, the Pillow Man was quite the production. <laughs> I mean, have you seen The Fly, honey? We're going to watch The Fly. He's just amazing at it. Uh, Maybe he's earned it. <laughs> Maybe he's <laughs> earned it. <laughs> My daughter's breasts are also fantastic. You haven't, you haven't earned what he's earned, sweetheart. <laughs> Were you in the fly? <laughs> Allegedly earned. <laughs> Allegedly in the fly. Invasion uh, of the Body Snatchers, the good one. He was in it. Now he's invade, invading my teenage daughter's body. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Allegedly. Well, he did, and he touched it, though. Uh, Were you in that. vibes? <laughs> uh, thanks for the podcast, guys. My fiance and I are longtime listeners. And listening to old episodes helped us get through a very recent tornado that cost us our apartment and up, upended our lives. Oh, Jeez. Christ we're almighty. We're eternally grateful. Cheers, Liz, in Dayton, Ohio. Well, well thank you, Liz. We're grateful I you're okay after yeah, that. Yeah, Seriously. totally. Uh, yeah, yeah. Jesus that's, that's Christ. Terrible. I mean, an encounter with Jeff Goldblum. <laughs> <laughs> I survived. the tornado. But also, like, Hurricane a Jeff. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> also, like, a tornado in Dayton, Ohio. That's, like, every other week, right? I... <laughs> I also want to point out, by the way, just to credit where credit's due, Liz does have a funny uh, visual gag in this letter. The title or the subject line of this is Goldblum, G O L D B L double O M. I did that. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> well, Liz, maybe you're also funny. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> well done, Chris Cavan. Thank you. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I mean, uh, I've never been hit on by a celebrity. Uh, certainly not at the age of 17. <laughs> this is the peak of me looking okay. <laughs> 17 was not that. Uh, no, I've never been hit on by a celebrity. I, I no, don't think. no. I should probably not talk about the time Boris Karloff felt my knee up. <laughs> well, aren't you a fresh bouquet of... That's a... Oh, that's a you're definitely going. Oh yeah! Now, now you got me doing it. He yeah. was an Englishman. Oh fuck it. The point is, <laughs> Chris was molested by the mummy. Yes, <laughs> that's what I was getting to. Frankenstein. Oh wait, now I'm saying it. Frankenstein. <laughs> you, Boris Karloff played Frankenstein too, right? Yeah, he definitely did. Yes, yes he did. He put his hand on Chris's knee and went. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Well, that's uh, what they all do. There's a very <laughs> hilarious picture of my sister in LL Cool J, who's apparently the nicest guy in the world. Is that Allegedly. right? Yeah, he met her at a bus stop. <laughs> Allegedly. She was at a bus stop. She asked him for a picture, and he was like, really, really nice about it. That's cool. Yeah. He was riding the bus? No, I don't think so. I no, think she was, was riding the bus. And he was, he was like, walking shit. by a bus stop. Yes, LL Cool J. And no, she went, oh, I'm waiting for the bus. And he went, what are those? <laughs> <laughs> but this reminds me that uh, there was a tweet that was going around, and it kind of leads into this. That someone was saying, what is a legitimately... Uh, Kind exchange you had with a celebrity. Uh-huh. Did anybody participate in that? Oh yeah, in that tweet. I, d- well, I said Jeff. Uh, I said um, uh, uh, Joel, Joel Schumacher, Schumacher, but I, I've told that story already. Oh, you have told that story yes. on the air. Yeah, it was you were accidentally seeing the wrong movie. Yeah, and he was very nice about it. Yeah, no, that's good. I think I referred to my John Turturro story. Uh, I went to see a, a play with my parents at Pace University, mm-hmm. uh, the one down all the way downtown. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and I was like, kind of, I they it was intermission, and they had gone uh, to the bathrooms, and I was just hanging out there. I was pretty young. Um, and I, I just like look over and I was like, oh, that's John Tessera. Like I just knew him. I forget what I knew him from. Probably do the right thing. You're like, you should have been Luigi and Mario Brothers. <laughs> and he just <laughs> noticed me looking at him and he just like comes over and he's, hi, I'm John. And like does oh, the whole thing. Wow. He's like, he's like yeah, yeah, I know you're looking. You know, and I, we talked like for five minutes. Oh, that's really nice of him. You yeah. know what celebrity was really nice to me? Who? Jeffrey Dahmer. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm was he? Did he buy you a drink? <laughs> <laughs> and, then he went, and then I then I was then my whole life's been like, wait, I'm not good enough to be poisoned and taken I mean, into the cell. You drill know, a hole in my brain and fuck it. Here's the thing, you know someone out there has the nice Jeffrey Dahmer story. Exactly. Like, right. He worked at McDonald's and Jeffrey came in and was really sweet about sure. everything. Like he fucked up the order, but Jeff was cool about it. Right. When you're a psychotic person, yeah. and this this is not from experience, but uh, you need to put on that mask, that of semblance course, yeah. of reality, that yes. semblance of being a normal polite person Absolutely. unless you're the president and then you don't have to do it ever <laughs> yeah. you're right well it's all out the window now <laughs> <laughs> jeff dahmer could be president uh probably a better president honestly. he would almost have to be uh yeah uh, kevin smith was really nice to me one oh, time really? he came uh, to the burns for a screening of zach and mary make a porno and it was before the ki- like they got there super early you it was made him- a porno with you no uh but we were standing outside and it was like a Everyone was standing outside smoking cigarettes, but it was like he noticed that I was standing there like, oh, that's fucking Kevin Smith. And uh, he was like, hey, man, how's it? like he just started talking to me. Oh, that's, that's cool. Nice. And it was right before the fucking 08 election. And he was telling me about how like Sarah Palin terrified him. It was fucking great. It was a great. And then he was like, this is like older, uh, olden days, Kevin Smith, because then he was like. Hey man, where can we get good pizza around here? <laughs> and I like pointed him in a direction, and they just wandered off. And then he came back for the Q and A. You know, I tried to do that one. Well, no, I, I did do it accurate. Like, like I've been stopped like five times. You know, it's it's, it's not a huge deal. Uh, but this, I was at a concert by one. celebrities. No, as a celebrity, <laughs> as a very <laughs> pseudo celebrity, this guy stopped me and he's like, "Oh man, you're a podcast." I'm like, "Oh, really cool, dude." And I start talking to him for a minute, uh, and I and I, I don't know why. I, I had a couple of drinks, but I also like. I know it's awkward to ask people for pictures, so I asked him. I was like, "Hey, man, oh if you no. want a picture, oh it's no. really cool." Oh no! And he's like, "Yeah, no, I'm all right." <laughs> I'm like, "Yeah, right. That is the right call, buddy." <laughs> yeah, like you are. Take a picture of a voice. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. You're pretty much a guy at my job, so <laughs> I'm all right. Yeah, that's not going on the fridge. No. So yeah, that happened, but it was very. <laughs> I'll never ask that question again. So if you want a picture. Ask me. Uh, no pictures, but could you just make a joke into my phone, please? <laughs> <laughs> uh, Chris Cabin, you are up. Toy Story 4 and the Curse of Parents with iPhones. Ooh. All right. Has anyone seen that yet, by the way? Uh, no. 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 Uh, you see this? You hear about this? <laughs> Toy Story 4. <laughs> did you hear about this thing? I did not. I didn't see it. No. In uh, Des Moines, Iowa, they were the same toys. This fucking idiot printed something wrong in the paper. <laughs> Look at this. It's fucking wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Same fucking... Are you going to get me with this? Look at this. I'm making a million dollars talking about someone making a mistake at work. Nope. He, said, he said his T-Rex sounds like Don Rickles. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, all right, Chris Cabin, go ahead. Uh, hey, guys, big fan of the podcast. Big fan of you. Uh, so I recently took my sister's kids. Hey, you want a picture? Hey, <laughs> hey, do you want a picture with me? Um, I know I'm a huge celebrity, so I'm willing to do it. Man, no, he does not. <laughs> you yeah. can even put the flash on. I mean, I know it's dark in here. <laughs> oh. Looking at the views on this YouTube video, yeah, no one wants a picture of 
Uh, sisters get to see Toy Story 4 about a week after it came out. I had already seen it with my kids, and I think most people had seen it as well since the theater was pretty empty. Well, double dipping on Toy Story 4. I don't know about that. Uh, we were about halfway through the movie when a couple on the upp- opposite end of... Who were up to no good? <laughs> started making trouble in his neighborhood. The upple? The upple. The upple. Thrupple? Uh, Oh, a thruple. I like this. Mm, I like where this yeah. story's going. Is that what you asked the guy with the phone? <laughs> <laughs> um, no. Are you sure? <laughs> Just letting you know, no. Okay. Okay. Uh, when a couple on the opposite end of our row started uh, taking pictures of their kids watching the movie. Get the flying fuck you know what? out of here. Every memory is precious. <laughs> <laughs> No, they're not, and your kids aren't fucking special, and one of them's probably ugly just by statistics. <laughs> of course. And, and this I would guy, say all of them are. This guy says, but they had the flash on. I would be, and they, they put yes, the flash yes, on, say, exclamation point. Absolutely. <laughs> uh, the theater was pretty empty. He already told me that. Maybe 20 people Jeez, all together, rare. so I ignored it. But it continued. Right. I sat there thinking to myself, what kind of an asshole uses their flash in a movie theater? Who, what kind of it's asshole true. takes pictures in a movie theater yes. other than somebody trying to get the boot? I just I, <laughs> get the I, boot. A few weeks ago, I saw Crawl, the Alligators movie, yeah. based on a Stephen Sadak recommendation. It was I was totally say based on a story by Stephen Sadak. <laughs> <laughs> oh, totally no. fun movie, but there were kids using the flash on their fu- the flashlight function <sighs> to do shadow puppets on the ceiling. Wow! And I, was like, I was like, fine. School's out for summer, I guess. So. Yeah, it is what it is. Man. Disgraced Olympic. Swimmer Steve Sadak. <laughs> <laughs> uh, b- 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 flash in the movie. All of the sudden, uh, after they had taken the fifth picture without realizing it, I blurted out, Who the fuck does that in a theater? <laughs> One great question, but two, I love that this dude was counting how many photographs were being taken. All right, five, that's it. I'm saying something. <laughs> if it was just four and they left it, fine. One. Two. Oh, come on! <laughs> now you've taken more pictures than there are Toy Story movies. <laughs> <laughs> I'm uh, fucking pissed. I then noticed that my nieces and nephew were staring at me yeah. as well as the family taking the oh, pictures. yeah, oop. I guess I had said it so loud that most of the theater had heard it. Well, yeah. Uh, I mean, Wait, was, it, was it during a quiet moment in Toy Story 4? There's a lot of those, I guess. I guess so. If people in the theater all over can hear him. Well, maybe he was screaming, though. Yeah, so if, you're sc- if you scream, you're going to be hurt. Yeah, I mean, I mean five I in, I would be screaming. <laughs> Listener, you're justified in doing this yeah. because, honestly, what, what kind of fucking asshole is saying, I'm going to ruin this movie for mm-hmm. everyone else here yep. because, you know, my little farts. I wanna, my little special farts. I want to crystallize that in amber. Yeah, congratulations. You got someone knocked up. Yeah. Fantastic. Well, to be fair, the future of the country is going to be based on your experiences with Disney movies like that's going to be oh, that's, that's going to be currency going forward sure. so like yeah you want to get I, those pictures get done. in on it now yeah, yeah you're we're right. going to replace the fucking eagle on the emblem <laughs> of the country or whatever i don't i don't know what america is the presidential seal but, yeah, yeah it's going to be it's going to be mickey mouse yes. soon enough <laughs> oh yeah dude uh, bu- 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 i looked around and realized that no one else seemed to care and that <sighs> uh, i was yeah. Oh, no, I'm the asshole. Yeah. Oh, I see. That sucks. It's the cursing that gets you in the hot soup there, pal. That's, That's true. You sure are swearing in a, in a kid's movie. Yeah, you yeah. got to be like, hey, who takes a picture? Come on. I'm trying to watch a movie over here. Yeah. Gosh. Oh, gosh. <laughs> <laughs> That's how you do it. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. Well, except for that one scene where Woody calls uh, Buzz an astrofuck. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I felt a little embarrassed because sure. I because <laughs> I usually don't do things like that. And I had already seen the movie and didn't really care about what was happening on screen. Right. Mm. So just wondering if any of you have ever freaked out about something while watching a movie that no one else seemed to care about and then felt kind of dumb. Love the show. Simon. Uh, no, because I'm a coward. Uh, with a coward. <laughs> oh. uh, I don't get into confrontations unless I absolutely have to. I will not initiate a confrontation because I'm a coward. Yeah. I think it's the right way to live, though, because <laughs> on the way down here today, I was on In the Quiet Car. Sometimes we talk about this. Sure, dude. Show. Absolutely. Metro North, not the subway system. There are your commuter rails. They do have the quiet car where you can just sit and read a book. And it's no, a blessing when it not, works. Yeah, you're not supposed to talk on it. Right. Dude fucking listening to a baseball game on his phone. <sighs> Without the headphones. Without the headphones on, just <sighs> blaring. Uh-huh. Like, we have... The headphone technology for yeah, 
That's so, all I'm saying. So I go up to him like, really, like, hey, you know, if you're gonna do that, go to the next car. Like, yeah. this is this is the quiet car. Here's the signs right in front of your face. Yep. And he was just like, all right. And then like the next stop. 20 teenagers get on and they're just screaming and yelling. <laughs> Jesus. Um, and then I'm, I look like the asshole because, like, I'm not going to wade into that. No, definitely not. And then not. I wish I never said anything at all because yeah. now I look weird. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, you can't be. Look, look, here's the thing. Oh, I'm never going to. Teenagers are the, the hardest one because, A, they're going to outlive you. Yep. And they know that. <laughs> and and that's like a power that they beat have. the right. fuck out of you. They're going to beat too. the fuck out of yeah. you. They're gonna, all they have to do is look at it like, I don't give a shit, old man. And then your heart breaks. You're, you're just like, crushed oh. forever. Yeah, you're destroyed. Yeah. <laughs> well, that was like when a buddy of mine and I saw the fifth Harry Potter movie. Okay. And these guys behind us, I'm, I think I've told this story before. Um, these guys behind us were just talking shit the whole time. Just really, you know. And I'm, I'm a fan of the... The side yeah, eye. Yeah, yeah. Like just giving the side eye kind of a thing. I'll you know? shush. I will shush. Uh huh. That's it. That's as far as I go. I, at, at us, shushing is too pat, I, too passive for me. I, it's either the side eye or we're saying something. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I and like the echo treatment when like one, the first guy into the brink will like do the thing like, "Hey, shut up!" I'm like, "Yeah." <laughs> <laughs> you don't, yes, yeah. A join in is totally different, but I yeah, I will not be the leader of that. Uh, but my friend, you turned around and he goes, "Shut the fuck up!" Oh, and then yeah. these dudes were like. When we leave this fucking theater, we're going to fucking kill you. Yeah. And then this guy was like, maybe he was pretending or he did make a phone call. Yeah. And then like there was a thing outside. We're on fucking 86. We're on the fucking <laughs> Upper East Side. Yeah. You know, and like these dudes like all like it all came together. And it was a weird thing where this guy was like, yeah, it's me. And then my boys over here. And there's like four dudes 10 feet away. And the guy's like. Right, guys? And yeah. the guys are like, uh, excuse me? <laughs> Pardon me? <laughs> and it was just like uh, this weird confrontation. And then it like it diffused itself before there was a fight in fucking Yorkville. You yeah. know, and it was just, it was really awful. But I will say, we went and saw uh, the horrendous live action Aladdin. Whew. Fucking taking pictures with the flash on what? the fucking movie, Again, man. Again, that's you currency, kidding? dude. You, that's like Bitcoin now. Here's Kelsey seeing her first movie. Yeah. Fuck you and fuck your stupid kids. Well, was, while the movie was happening. While the movie is okay. on. Okay. Here she is seeing the genie. They say you're not supposed to have a camera, dude. You're bootlegging the movie. They're bootlegging the movie. <laughs> dude, well, then I saw yeah. some fucking... <laughs> <laughs> yep, there you oh, go. Oh, I got Chris Cavett in the theater. <laughs> no, but then... When I saw fucking Godzilla King of the Monsters, there was some bootleg in the movie, but it was like when cool stuff was happening, this fucking dude was like <laughs> fucking cool cut. Here he was we like, go. Oh yeah. And oh no. And then it was like uh. back down when like dialogue happened, but then like with more fights, it was like, fuck yeah, this <laughs> is awesome. And I'm like, what? Man. I would like to see the cool cut of that movie. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's a fun movie, but it, the cool cut's even it's better. Just 30 minutes of Godzilla fights? I'm up for that. <laughs> Uh, Eric Siska, go ahead with this next one here. I was a high school ventriloquist dummy. And now I'll get to the email. Uh, <laughs> oh, oh wait, well no, done. it's the subject line. I grew up in uh, prime gym prom territory, graduated in a class of 68. I want to mention, I, uh, what, there was the gym prom discussion. on. Oh, some yes, yes. When, when your high school had the prom in the gymnasium. Which is what my high school did. I wasn't here for that episode. And you, oh, I right. guess you guys thought it was outlandish. <laughs> well, it's kind of I thought it was for outlanders. Oh, yeah, yeah, we are outlanders. That's true. Uh, <laughs> Rent the ballroom at the Ramada. It can't be that expensive. Well, it's a little, a little pricey. <laughs> graduated in a class of 68. I think my graduating class was a similar number, maybe a little more. They had to expel the last kid. Like, no, we're not having 69 <laughs> high school students. Well, class of 69, that fucking fooled me once 30 years ago. Not doing that again. <laughs> no. Should have closed the school that whole year. <laughs> the jokes were out of control. Out of control. No, you're, you're expelled. I'm sorry. I, I was not popular for a lot of reasons. Oh, wait, now, I'll get, now, I'll, now I will get back to the email. I was not popular for a lot of reasons, but I had a group of friends I, tr I trusted and liked. Junior prom was uh, a big deal because somehow our class had convinced the administration that we could have the prom away from the gym. In fact, whoever was in charge of organizing the whole thing convinced the adults to let us have the prom on the Branson Bell in Branson, Missouri. Dude, that is the fuck capital of the United States really? of America. Yes. That's like you could get like you could get so people put a 
cigarette out into your genitalia there. <laughs> yeah, I, I absolutely, dude. That. Yeah, it's like uh, it's Pottersville. Oh, so <laughs> Slovenians are taking shits fully clothed? Yeah, uh, uh, in sinks. Yes, yeah, no, Lithu- definitely. Lithu- uh, Lithuanian ass models? Clothed females, <laughs> nude sinks. I, lo- I love it. Lithuanian ass models. I went to prom with a, a male friend, and we uh, when we were seated for dinner, we were under the an AC vent. Nice. That's pretty sick. <laughs> and I asked if I could have his uh, suit jacket because I was cold. He said no. <laughs> <laughs> What a fucking Put dick. A in that. that is ridiculous. You fucking dildo. Even oh, if it is not right. a romantic situation, you <laughs> offer the coat. You know what I mean? Like, Put the fucking coat on this person, please. Mm. So dinner is served. It's middling. That's okay because it matched the entertainment rim shot. So we're having a fun with this. Fucking doing rim shots at this thing? <laughs> Whatever shots, shots, rim, <laughs> shot, shot, shot. The main attraction was a ventriloquist who. No, fuck, <laughs> fuck, <laughs> this is, fuck this the is world. Branson. This is Branson. This is like all, all the reject of Vegas kind of thing, right? Oh, is that what it is? It's it's sort of like a big kind of like a casino, casino fun. Oh, I see. Thing. I thought you knew about the sex that happens. I was just making a joke. I don't. I've never been there. I don't know what's going on. Oh, you went to Bronson. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we fuck here constantly. Look at the uh, length of this email. Could also be called the Song of Ice and Fire. Yikes! <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, we uh, we all sound like this here. <laughs> <laughs> all of us are like this. The main attraction was oh, uh, uh, yeah, uh, Van Trokers who knew. Uh, how to pinch dogs? What? Make it look like they were talking. So it's a dog sh- ventriloquist. <laughs> this is animal abuse. <laughs> so oh yeah, we, we were torturing dogs. Yeah, like I don't know about this. So when uh, the prom was raided by the <laughs> ASPCA, well, with guns, I guess. <laughs> yes. Clear. <laughs> yeah, dude, they had to fucking save Ruffles. <laughs> He was pinched to death. Where Chris <laughs> Pratt and Joel Edgerton yes. are just busting down the door. <laughs> okay, I don't know if he actually pinched them, but this guy built a whole fucking act around making it look like dogs were telling his dumb jokes, so I assumed the worst. That's not the worst, because you definitely know what this dude was doing, by the way. Mm. Sticking fingers in buttholes. Oh, yeah. That's Chris, what that was. Talk, Chris, Ruffles. Chris McDonald and Dirty Work. And then you, yes. like, <laughs> and then you like, I guess you would have to like screw up their vocal cords so they don't bark. Yeah, so you totally. Because you don't want them to talk over you. So you like you surgically alter that oh dog in multiple ways. We should do this for the podcast here because people have been like, people, some people have said like, oh, I don't know about this, p- this doing video content. Sure. You guys are fucking chuds. Sure. Yeah. So maybe we if chud. we get some dogs in here, oh. we're hiding under the couch. I'm <laughs> fucking fingering that dog. <laughs> and suddenly we're having a good time. Uh, but Eric, a- Eric, you got to remember, <laughs> it, it, the fingering the asshole is not what makes dogs talk. It's fingering the pee hole. <laughs> oh, oh. oh <laughs> You're right. Yikes. I don't. I don't know biologies, <laughs> so you're gonna have to teach me to find that fucking slot or whatever yeah. it is. You know what? Maybe it's for the best. We're not trying to pretend like dogs are talking. Uh-huh. Okay, maybe parrots. <sighs> parrots. Those I are am, like birds. Yes, I understand what a parrot is. <laughs> I am just over pee hole. That's that. that <laughs> I've just recovered. Steve, you just lost time. <laughs> <laughs> it hasn't been recovered yet. Is that what your fugue states? <laughs> yes. Because this is a Branson, Missouri, there uh, there has to be an audience participation segment. In this case, the ventriloquist who wanted to pull a couple people uh, on stage to play as dummies. As, as I already gave away in the title of the email, I got picks. I was up on stage with a lovely ol- older gentleman who was visiting with his senior citizen's Bible study group. Oh, my God. Yikes. I didn't think this email could get any worse. Speaking of fingering a dog's asshole, <laughs> Bible study group. Uh, he offered me his arm as we went up to the stage and helped me back down as well. I guess nice. That's nice. Yeah. This old guy was trying to get laid. <laughs> was it, he was Jeff Goldblum? <laughs> it is uh, prom night. Uh. You're oh. a bouquet of springtime <laughs> flowers, young lady. I remember my prom. The Archduke Franz Ferdinand had just been assassinated in the street. I was the trigger man, but no one could prove it. I was busy setting up the bombing of the Lusitania. <laughs> the bit was simple. The dude squeezes uh, the back of our neck. Jesus Yikes. fucking Christ. And we Christ. open our mouths. This is fucked up. <laughs> this <laughs> this <laughs> is, dude, hey, attention, Eli Roth. I got fucking hostile four here for <laughs> you, you buddy. You don't have to cross the pond for that shit. This <laughs> is fucking frightening. 
He uses a goofy voice to make us break character, repeat for five minutes. Needless to say, everyone <sighs> from the high school was screaming and talking a lot. <laughs> uh, taking a lot of photos. Sorry, not talking. Was screaming and taking a lot of photos. Screaming because they were enjoying it or what? A ah! horror. <laughs> That's it's great. He's touching a neck. After prom, the school library did a whole bulletin board collage of the night, and me on stage with my mouth wide open was on there more than oh, once. Man. Jesus, this, this is, is humiliating. A quick list of other things that happened. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I, like, I like this like this appendix at the bottom of other shit that was terrible. Notable shitty things. My date informed me that he flat out did not dance, not even for slow dancing. Come on, pal. That's the easiest thing to fake. Yeah. yeah. After the dance, when a bunch of us went back to the hotel room, we all ch we all chipped in, f we all chipped in on. Five of us got a lot of a little drunk. Chipped in on, I guess maybe like uh, a the hotel room. Yeah, they're sharing the room. Yeah. Oh right. Oh, oh they're all. I, see. They're I all thought I was like, wait, how is this dr drinking happening? You <laughs> chipped in on a bottle, yeah, and then like, you got drunk. Like, sorry. Come I'm, on, guys. Come on, guys. I'm getting discombobulated. See what I was. See what was happening here was when a bunch of us went back to the hotel room. I was imagining there was a comma there. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Then we all chipped in on, but then there's another comma, and that's why I got confused. You know, what, guys, grammar is important. It, it very much is. Phantom comma. Starring Daniel Day Lewis. <laughs> My date, roomie number six, got roaring drunk and hid under the sink in the kitchenette. The only way we got him out was when another friend ran the hot water, which made the pipes under the sink hot, and they sent my date tumbling out, <laughs> yelling about <laughs> being burned. I've That's been burned! <laughs> I've been burned! <laughs> it's a fucking fitting end for this guy. My date kept disappearing to another uh, room in the hotel to bum weed off of a different friend who had gotten... A room with her boyfriend. Hey, I did that after my prom. Sure, that's what you're doing. Went around trying to bum weed off this I dude. I did that after a live show. <laughs> <laughs> what do you, what you, you want weed? I'm trying to have a night with my girlfriend here. <laughs> okay, why don't you go find some weed down in the weeds? <laughs> and I'm like, hey, who wants a picture? Who wants a picture with Steve? <laughs> man, WHM prom, that's a fucking horrible night. Oh, Eesh. man, that'd be something. We'd do it, though. You know, reach out, give us money. <laughs> Rent that ballroom. Yeah. Marriott or higher, though. Here's the worst of it. Uh -oh. I found out a week after when I was ripping my friend date a new one for being a fucking asshole. He admitted that he only agreed to take me to prom because the friend who had spent prom night supplying him with weed had promised him that weed to take me to prom because he wanted me to. And this is him quoting her. Shut the fuck up about not having a date. Whoa! That's fucking, fucking, that's fucking hell. Not that's quite shitty. a. I was just a date. I was just a yeah. stupid bet, but Pretty in close. the in, in yeah. the yeah. in the area there. I was just a stupid joint. <laughs> <laughs> he agreed to go with me after I made reference to being single once. I re remember this because I said I'd go with him as friends if he didn't have a date. And the day after he accepted, here's the question. You ever get screwed like that by people who thought you were friends and it wasn't being forced to watch a terrible movie with them? Love the show. Looking forward to seeing you in Portland, Oregon. That's right. I believe that's November 8th, 7th? Uh, check 7th. That, I think it's the uh, 7th. Check that tour tab on whmpodcast.com. Okay. Uh, and there is no name given. So thank you for the letter. And I'm sorry that you had to be a yeah. ventriloquist dummy. That's ass. And then have like this terrible date. And then, worst of all, meet some guy from the Bible study group. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. That's always the worst. Hell. That's a, no, Portland is on November 7th. There you November go. November 7th, 2019. There it is. Uh, what was the question that ended this? Basically, would, uh, have you ever been screwed over like uh, by somebody that you were like trying to go on a date with? Or have something? you ever been stabbed in the back <laughs> oh. by people you trust? I probably mumbled through that one, but it was you ever get screwed like that by people you thought were your friend and it wasn't being forced to watch a terrible movie with them? So they assume from our life experience that it's we've been made uh, right. to watch a lot of bad movies. But sure. have we ever gotten screwed over by uh, a friend, which was not really a friend, in like in this case, a fake friend? Fake a friend. fake friend. I don't think so. I, I, I mean, like, know. I've had, like, friends of friends, but I've always been pretty good about knowing who was A squad and who was B squad. Oh, sure. You know what I mean? And you don't want to involve B squad unless a, there's a member of A squad there to sort of balance it out. I was know? kind of a floater. A I floater, never really okay. had a complete squad. Um, 
very much uh, not liked, um, <laughs> distinctly so. But <laughs> <laughs> I remember one, w- speaking of not watching a bad movie, I remember when they were re- releasing the special editions of Star Wars. This was like my Bible study group. <laughs> and I was so excited about it. And I talked to friends about going to see Empire Strikes Back. Right. And then like I remember I was like, I called up a friend to like coordinate this important mission. Oh, super important. And like their mother was like, no, he's uh, seeing uh, Empire Strikes Back with your other friend. Oh, oh boner yeah, jam, dude. Hurt, dude. Wow. I know. And then I had to go by myself. Oh. But I probably saw it a few times anyway. You're still <laughs> pissed off about this, aren't you? I am pissed, <laughs> actively pissed <laughs> off about everything that has ever happened to me. Any, sure. I, I'm a guy that remembers any slight. Mm-hmm. Any oh, slight. yeah. I oh, I don't forgive. I don't forgive. No, I'm, I'm <laughs> not over high school, obviously. <laughs> Quite obviously. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I'm trying to think of any <laughs> specific <laughs> like. Uh, well, I can tell you how to avoid uh, what you went through, and uh, this is a, a note from young curmudgeon Chris Cabin. <laughs> I got a shit. Don't go to these proms. Yeah, d- yeah. or the dances. Proms, it's dances, proms, not worth it. I not go, worth. It. I didn't go to the prom because I knew nothing good would happen to me there. Uh, and I, d- I, I listen. I, was, I went. Sure. I went with a friend. There was no like. Yeah. Maybe something's gonna happen. Like she was just a friend, and then we met up with the rest of our friends. Oh, that's what's and it was totally oh, fun. Oh, friends, nice. Yeah. Well, I, went I a, uh, didn't go. <laughs> I went to an all boys Catholic co- high school, so and right. people, a lot of people had girlfriends who they brought, but I just wasn't in that category just yet. Uh, <laughs> so I met up with everybody afterwards, and I got blackout drunk, and oh, I slept yeah. in somebody's closet. It was a whole thing. Oh yeah, well, someone had a good prom night. Yeah. I didn't even have that. I uh, yeah, there was a big like lake party. You remember this party, oh, yeah. Chris Cabin? After, uh, uh, by the way, after prom parties. Yeah. Totally cool. Go totally for fine. it. Totally yeah. cool. It's totally the cool. actual prom, and the, the dances suck. I like left early because we drove to the house to like set up the beer situation or whatever. There was a whole thing. I did run around that party looking for weed. Finally found weed. It was the whole thing. I fucking fell asleep outside on the the deck of this house in like a nice fucking uh, Adirondack chair, yeah. just loving life, just loving it, man. And I fucking I fell asleep like kind of like a vampire. And then the next thing I knew, I woke up and there was like a quarter inch of snow on me. (laughs) It was May and there was a freak snowstorm in upstate New York. And I woke up covered in snow. Can I tell a story that I just remembered fully and it's humiliating? (laughs) Yes, go right ahead. Just sold me. Uh... (laughs) <laughs> it, was, it wasn't the high school prom. It was the, uh, eight, uh, you know, I went to Catholic school the whole time. Uh, I went through a, a K oh. through eight uh, grade school. Was it the Lord has you risen you went dance? The, you went to the grade school prom, dude? Not cool. Well, I yeah. didn't want to go to the grade school. What? You did? Here's, There's a prom? This is the for story. babies? Yes, <laughs> he said it's humiliating. Right, Just right, let right, him I, say I, it. Oh, 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 there was a baby oh, prom, an eighth grade baby uh-huh, prom. Uh-huh. And like, you know, again, like you've been theoretically with these people for like nine years and right. so on and so forth. Yeah. And, like, I had, I had enough friends that I could have gone with. And it wasn't really, like, you know, boyfriend, girlfriend, like, 13 or whatever. Yeah. But I was like, ah, I don't want to go. And what I did was um, <laughs> it cost, like, f- 50 bucks to go. And, like, my family growing up and uh, had, like, financial problems all the time. And, like, a lot of my friends knew. And, like, I would have to get pulled out of school because we didn't pay tuition. That's a whole other fucking story. Yeah. But this is kind of common knowledge that I was kind of the poor kid. <laughs> so what I did was I leaned into it. And my buddies were like, "Are oh, you going to go to the prom? And I'm like, you know, I just, I kind of just can't afford it. And I, and I, I mean, <laughs> oh man, you're intentionally saying this? But, and, and I mean, because like, I didn't ask my parents. I mean, like, probably I couldn't afford it anyway, but like, right. I didn't ask anybody because I didn't want to go. <laughs> So then I'm like, that's what it is. And like, da 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 da. And I was like, oh, it's so sad. I'm like, yeah, it's, it's so sad. Start passing the hat now, around. <laughs> were you, you were in eighth grade here? Or yes, you I'm in eighth grade. Okay, I, I, thought, I thought you were talking about you as like a senior in high school. No, no, no. I'm in eighth grade. At this no, point. that would be wholly unacceptable. That's what I was saying. Uh. <laughs> so I, I, I go home. I go home. And I'm just kind of hanging out. And it's like, you know, the things at like seven, school gets out at three. At four o'clock. Two of my teachers show up to my fucking front no, door, no, no, my apartment. No, and no. And they, they took a collection and they gave me the uh, ticket and they were like, Stephen, you need to go to the prom. Oh, and Steven, I'm like, Stephen, you're getting laid tonight. <laughs> <laughs> and I just was like, oh. <laughs> and I was like, I guess I'm going. And don't worry, Stephen. We anticipated your response. And yes, we rented you this tuxedo. <laughs> I, is it okay if I just wear my jeans and Limp Biscuit t-shirt? <laughs> 
yet. Oh, I'm going to kill myself real quick. <laughs> you can bring my dead body. So I went to the fucking. Bar. Oh, uh, uh, mm. let me get my tuxedo. It's uh, buried in the back of my oven. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Your Wait. teachers just get up on like in the front of all the students. Everybody, <laughs> we just want you to know that Steven is here. Thank God. <laughs> it's the prom king. Yay. But it was a good night because then you met Jeff Goldblum there. Right? <laughs> yeah, he's, <laughs> he's, he's, he's there he's picking flowers. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God, dude. You were right. That is humiliating. <laughs> it is the That's humiliating st- tale. That's a bad one. Mm-hmm. Andrew, you're up. All right, here we go. Midsummer 2. Hey, guys. Much like childhood Steve Sadek, I am scared of everything. So I wasn't planning on seeing Midsummer until you guys raved about it on the Big Daddy Dispatch, trademarked. Uh, my boyfriend and I see two to three movies a week. Nice. Uh, and I haven't had a poor theater experience in a while, so we didn't expect to encounter every stereotype of horrible moviegoer uh, when we settled in. I was already on edge because horror movie when a grown ass man sat down to my right and immediately took off his shoes, putting them on the open seat in between him and myself. This calls for an assassination. (laughs) This This is what happens in uh, movie theaters across this nation, and you just don't hear about it. This is what the Archduke Franz Ferdinand (laughs) did. (laughs) That's right, dude. He's in a plane, he's taking his (laughs) shoes off. Uh, this was disgusting enough, but then he aggressively flipped up the armrest and turned my way so he could rest his now bare feet on the seat as well. What the fuck? The aroma was not enticing. Yeah, this is, you know what? (sighs) But you know what this is? This is, paid my ticket. Yeah. Yeah. That's why I paid for my (laughs) ticket. I'm I'm paying damn near 15 bucks. I don't got to wear shoes. Yep. Here to see this Florence Pugh movie. <laughs> <laughs> Big fan. Love Lady Macbeth. No, that dude loved the wrestling movie, yeah, dude. Yeah. Fighting with my family. Oh, I forgot yeah, you yeah. Yeah. Uh, When the previews began, when the previews began, uh, he started talking very loudly to the person next to him. Normally, it doesn't matter to me if someone talks through the previews, but this guy's lack of social awareness made me nervous. He'd continue to talk when the movie started. This is the most dangerous time in American cinema. Is yep. when you're you're sitting down and someone's yep. talking the the previews because it is socially acceptable. Totally fine to talk to the previews. I'll allow That's it. Fine. I'll yeah. begrudgingly allow it. But you get nervous. I actually I saw Booksmart at the Village East Cinema uh-huh. in New York, and it was like this, it was an afternoon showing. No one was there. Was like five people, but they kept the lights on the entire time for the previews, and I'm like. I'm like just when are these going in. down? Exactly, it's yep. like this anxiety of like shit. Am I gonna have to get up? Because also you have to go upstairs in that theater. It's kind of a hassle. Yes, big yeah. time. Oh, I that's mean, enormous. I'll say one thing about the talking during the previews. I've come to actually like it because, as we've talked about on this show before, yes, you learn too much about these movies yes. in the. Pre- I'd rather be hearing about like oh my day shopping or whatever <laughs> the fuck. <laughs> Agreed. Then you're gonna see a preview like. Ten times, maybe. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're totally. going to get it. Let him go. Uh, talk when the movie started. He did. <laughs> I was about to find a theater employee when two ladies burst into the theater, laughing and also talking at full volume 25 minutes nope. into the actual film. Uh, wouldn't you know it, the obnoxious guy and his friend were in their assigned seats. <laughs> oh, come on. The lady stood in front of me to loudly exclaim, these are our seats, you move. Again, this is science seating, folks. I know everyone's against me on this. I've said this opinion <laughs> I'm with before. You. I'm, People I'm have been tweeting you. at me. People have been commenting that I am a, a bad person for having this opinion. But I mean, you're a this, bad person, but, but it's got nothing yes, to do with yes, this wrong yes, opinion. But this is what happens. This is what happens. Continue, you know what, Larry. You know this what, is Eric? what happens. <laughs> Eric, we all took together a uh, we all took together a collection. <laughs> we got you tickets to a non-assigned theater, <laughs> and you have to go right now. <laughs> I, I, Take me, please. <laughs> uh, and the next five minutes consisted of the guys and the ladies talking and shuffling around to get settled. Yep, there you go. Once the ladies sat down, they pulled out an exorbitant amount of snacks, including cheeseburgers. Fuck you to <laughs> death. Cheeseburger. <laughs> 25 minutes into the movie? Yeah, Why are you even... What are you doing? What are you doing at midsummer? What are you <laughs> doing? <laughs> no, yeah, exactly. Go yeah. to fucking... Go to Toy Story. Go to yeah, Lion go to King. Yeah, Spider's Men's. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, they'll let you eat cheeseburgers in there. Cheeseburg. Uh, so now we had foot smell and cheeseburger smell mixing in tight quarters. Oh, that's great. <laughs> that's very disgusting. Uh, God. Uh, <laughs> uh, these women 
completely missed the point, tone, symbolism, atmosphere of the movie and ended up causing the full theater to turn on it. This is bad. Yeah. yeah. This is this is a this is a theatrical well, this emergency. Is a poisonous audience right here. This I mean this needs to be reported to A24. <laughs> uh one of the women was literally on the edge of her seat the entire time, turning to the other woman every 30 seconds to talk to her over the movie. There was a chorus of what the hell? Uh-uh. Oh no. And other similar grunts every time a line was said or somebody did anything unsettling. One of the ladies immediately choked on a cheeseburger <laughs> and was loudly clearing her throat and coughing through the whole movie, which is two and a half hours long. This proves that there is no God in this world. <laughs> yeah, yeah, because sure. if there was a God, he mm. would let this woman choke to death on this cheeseburger. <laughs> Strike her down. And then she'd finally shut yeah. the fuck up. Strike her down for good. And then there was the laughing. Oh, the laughing. Every time something uncomfortable happened, which is the whole point of the film, uh, they would laugh like they just heard the most hilarious joke of all time. I wouldn't be able to hear entire sections of dialogue because they'd be laughing so loud. This is why movie theaters are going to die. Is yeah. People don't want to deal with this fucking bullshit anymore. Then came the scene with Christian and Maya. That scene. Now, some spoilers for Midsummer is kind yeah, of spoiler vague, for Midsummer. Vaguely. I believe she's referring to the fucking yes. at the end of the movie. Yeah. Uh, they couldn't I don't remember the themselves. names. Yeah, I remember Christian. Uh, they couldn't handle themselves. They were laughing, yelling, and encouraging others to laugh as well. The encouraging, that's a real problem. Mm -hmm. trying, to, trying to hear it from the crowd. Is this thing on? Yeah. I, I said, <laughs> that's really fucked up. <laughs> uh, most of the theater began laughing, which even encouraged some of the people below us to attempt to become theater comedians. Oh, mm. gosh. The shoe guy and his friend were also hooting and hollering. One guy yelled, <laughs> quote, that looks like your mom, which prompted the ladies to start having a conversation with him when a movie is still going oh, man, on. your mom looks like that? That's <laughs> fucked up, man. Like, his oh, wow, mom you're, you're looks like the lady that was helping his butt cheeks yeah. during the thrusting? Yeah, yeah, I think so. Your mom looks great because this is a great film. <laughs> <laughs> uh, finally, the movie ended. The two ladies yelled, that sucked, and quickly <laughs> left. I was furious. Even with everything going on and having the ambiance completely ruined for me, I loved Midsummer. I'm pissed because I want to see it in a better environment, but I already know what happens, and I don't want to dedicate another two and a half hours to it. This is refund town. Yeah, it's total like refund this, town. This is tough. Uh, I'm also frustrated that the two ladies completely missed the point and ruined the movie for everyone. All that aside, there's really not a happy ending here. <laughs> Thank you guys for doing what you do, and I always look forward to hearing more. Kenzie. Well, Kenzie, I am fucking sorry that that happened to you in that movie, man. Hell uh, world. I, I yes. guess it's a real Ken that's a bummer. Kenzie, thank you for writing in, and I hope all your enemies drop dead. <laughs> 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 I hope all, everyone's enemies drop dead. No, the, yeah. the laughing is a problem for me, too. It happens a lot at retros now, like retrospectives that I'll yes, do. Yes. Yep. I don't know what it is. It's like the haircuts. Or I saw the fucking juniper tree, which is a very... A uh, uh, staid, quiet, eighty-eight minute fucking Bjork. Yeah, not a horror movie, but like kind of almost like the, a proto The Witch kind of a thing. Where it's, it's like a weird spooky. movie that you would expect Bjork to make her film debut. Yes, yes. and it's, it's it's really good, and it's a lot of quiet, and it's a lot of weird, kind of abrupt, kind of stuff happening. Yeah, and people are laughing like fucking Rodney Dangerfield is on screen, and I'm like, because what are we doing what? as a culture? I'm at Metrograph. These people should be better. Well, here's here's what this is, and I've noticed this also from like teaching history of film yeah. classes, right? It's like you people are incapable of putting their mind in the time when the movie was made. Yeah. So anytime like an outdated thing happens yes. or is said or is shown, they're not thinking like, oh, this is a fucking thirty-five to forty-year-old movie, yeah. or whatever. It's like tee hee hee, isn't that so stupid? Yeah. And it's like, which is actually so what some people have said about our show negatively <laughs> that we will point out certain things that. But are we're not doing it during the movie, and... baby. Thank yeah, you. We're not bothering anybody. Those That's fuckers true. don't have to listen. By the way, I already got your download, so. Yep. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> yeah, and that's just like it's disgusting, and like you know that's why like even though I've never seen it actually enforced. Yeah. I appreciate the effort that Alamo Draft yes. House at least puts out to talk about no talking. We have like videos at the Burns, like when you go see a movie at the Jacob Burns, there's a thing that will always air before screening, and it's like we've found films where like clips of a film from like people are in a theater, mm -hmm. you know. So like we had one where it was like Bonnie and Clyde when they're arguing in the movie theater, and she tells them to shut up. Yeah. Um, and it's like then it says like don't talk you know yeah. and then like that shit like it's you're making an effort for something and it's like 
Midsummer's gonna be on fucking Amazon soon enough, man. Yeah. Just fucking stay the fuck home. And it's really bad with horror. And with something like Midsummer, where it's like the atmosphere it, is everything. It's the, the atmosphere is everything, and it's a hor- I hate this expression. I think it's garbage, but like elevated horror, right? Yeah, sure. Well, it's, it's, a, a, it's it plays with tone, like Hereditary did. Like uh, I had a laughing audience at Hereditary, but like because you just tell any fucking idiot, like, oh, this is a good horror movie, and then they go thinking it's fucking Jason X. Yeah, and, like oh, you're watching something that's actually crafted and thought about, and you're just being a fucking prick the whole time. Could you imagine if like Lee Harvey Oswald killed JFK? And then, like, had to deal with our modern theaters. He was able to go in there kind of anonymously, <laughs> quietly, sit down and uh, see. Now he'd be like, "What's? Where's my assigned seat? Yeah. Oh, everyone's fucking talking." Is he part of the club, the AMC, the Regal uh, <laughs> Benefits Regal Club? Points. Is he a Stubbs member? <laughs> I don't know, but JFK's neck is. <laughs> That Stubbs member. <laughs> Woo! Sorry. Last one. Do it up, Steve. Take us home. Uh, pay it backward. Uh, dear We Hate Movies, in the year of our Lord, 2000. Nice. Uh, that was a terrible time to be alive. It's, yes. it's the year of... I'm sorry. I'm, 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 I didn't know I was painting a picture right now. I'm painting a picture right now. Oh. Yeah, it's yeah. the year of our Lord, 2000. The world is recovering from a nervous energy left over from Y2K and enthralled by the abundant loincloth of one Mr. Russell Crowe. Nice. It's a hell of a loincloth. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Beautiful. We're in the golden age of movies, and it seemed like it would go on forever. I guess this is uh, Gladiator, right? Yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, like no, gla- it's Noah. <laughs> <laughs> you like Gladiator movies? Uh, in the 10th. Tenth- <laughs> I was the 10th caller on a local radio competition nice. and managed to win myself two tickets Hell yeah. to an advanced screening of a soon-to-be-released movie. Okay. Feeling uh, particularly buoyant by my obvious success, I gathered <laughs> all my courage and finally I asked out my na- latest crush, name redacted, good for you, dude. Smart yeah. move. Yeah. Uh, um, uh, uh, we definitely would have read it on the air, too, so that's, he knows what's up. Thinking surely she would be impressed by my ability to secure tickets to premier events. To call a radio station at the right time. Uh, it's, it's to, it, to his defense, it's pretty cool. Hey, babe, it's your, it, the tickets are free for me. Come on. <laughs> it looks like you're dating a VIP. <laughs> Maybe if you're lucky, I'll take you to Wendy's afterwards. Oh, yeah. I got coupons for that, too. The chicken sandwich ain't going to be the only thing that's spicy that night, I'll tell you what. Uh, they just premiered a spicy chicken sandwich. Which have you ever heard of such a thing? She would uh, <laughs> think she'd be impressed. She would see me rubbing shoulders with celebrities and instantly fall head over heels for me. Uh, needless to say, the screening of Pay It Forward did not, <laughs> oh man, eat it, achieve the desired result. It was released to the smallest possible cinema in the dodgiest part of town oh. to a half-empty room of radio ca- contest winners like myself with nary a celebrity personality in sight. Uh, she was so unmoved by the occasion that she asked if she could leave halfway through. Oh, oh, I asked if nightmare. she wanted to go get something to eat. She said, uh, no thanks. I'm going home. Oh, Jesus. fucking douche chill. <laughs> and oh I my never God. saw her again. Uh, <laughs> I would say that's the worst thing Kevin Spacey's ever done. No, but yeah, that's, yeah, that's it's, it's a problem. Uh, my question to you is, what's the absolute worst date night movie you've ever been to? Regards... Uh-huh. Fuzzy Dan. <laughs> He's referring to his pubes. I uh-huh. guess so. Guaranteed. Fuzzy Dan. Guaranteed Whew. pubes. Uh, so, oh, absolute worst date night yeah. movie you've been to. Um, I went on a date in high school to see the film K-Pax. Oh, na- oh Kevin Spacey again? Yeah. Speaking yeah. of Kevin Spacey, that was a mistake. He ruins everything. Chris Cabin and I went, uh, we uh, were on a double date. Yep. We saw the Mothman prophecies. That was a fucking Ooh. huge mistake. I saw... And I, and I think I do- that double date, I forced you into it, or like yep. I asked you as a favor Yep. because I was trying to date. The- yeah, yeah. So yes, I, I apologize yeah. for that, by the way. Yeah, I, I was the fourth wheel to the third wheel <laughs> in that date. Freddy got fingered. No oh, way, no. dude. Are you kidding me? Was she, was she cool with the elephant dick or not so much? Too cool. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so then you left midway through and never Remember, spoke to her Remember, I'm the kid? prude, yeah. yeah. Exactly. <laughs> on the way home, did she just keep on saying, Daddy, can I have some sausage? <laughs> Daddy, can I have some That's sausage? the thing. is like th- That movie, I hated it so much. Like My mind snapped, and then the whole evening was ruined. <laughs> <laughs> it's on me. Yeah, yeah. Sure. Fair. That's fucking great. Yeah, Nothing? No, 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 you no. never went to a bad movie on a date? 
No, I mean, I saw the terminal, but that was like not even really a date. Yeah, yeah, nah, 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 one of those. So it's a bad movie and a bad social situation. <laughs> exactly. I see, what you, I see what you're doing there. Uh huh. I feel like, ah, God, I feel like there's another one like on the tip of my tongue. Yeah. Oh, actually, no. I uh, oh, am I recalling this right? I think if I remember this right, uh, and if not, I'll cut it out. Uh, I believe Chelsea and I went and saw. This was, the, I think, it was our first ever movie date, like as a couple. Sure. The Spike Lee produced documentary "Confederate States of America." <laughs> oh <laughs> Jesus! <laughs> yeah, I know how to pick them. Yeah, how'd that go? <laughs> we were both just like, "This is weird." And then <laughs> it was, it was at the IFC back when the IFC had the Waverly Bar. Yeah. So then we just went out and just got drunk. Well, yeah. You know, I prefer nowadays when CSA stands for Community Supported Agriculture. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Yes. You are correct. 100%. That is, right. <laughs> that is WHM Mailbag for the month of August. My goodness, the dog days, man. Oh, man. I can't wait for fall. That's right around the corner, man. And uh, we will be back autumn. then reading more letters. If you want your autumnal themed letters uh, read on the air, uh, write into the mailbag. We all hate movies at gmail.com. Until I, next time. What's yeah. that? What, what do you got? What do you got? Autumn. I had to say, I can't wait for autumn yeah. for everyone across the pond. <laughs> Fair enough. Yeah. You're, you, thank you for avoiding I, that confusion. I had to make welcome. sure to get that one in. You're yeah. Yeah, you're <laughs> that welcome. is right. That was you're great. Welcome. It was great. You're welcome. I'm going to go watch Freddy Got Fingered. <laughs> you want to <laughs> watch it with me? <laughs> I might actually. Rip Torn, man. I got to remember. RIPD, him. Yeah. by the way. That's another fucking huge loss this year. In any event, mm -hmm. uh, until we open the mailbag next month, I'm Andrew Jupin. Steven Sadak. Chris Cabin. Eric Siska. Take it easy. Yeah.